Good morning, we are in the Friday AM session and we have the speaker here, we have the student as well and we would like to ask them several questions that my classmates will be giving to them, especially about the topic that is really re relevant about the relationship and our student will be also responding some questions about it. So I leave you with Joseph Caravale and Juan Kiuli from the College of Education. Good morning everyone, I'm Giselle Caraballe from the College of Education. So now we'll be uh, questioning Ms. Zai about uh, her experience throughout this week of prayer. So the first question is, what are your preparation for this week of prayer or did you face any challenges? Yes, I actually faced so many challenges since it coincided with our duty, duty week, so I wasn't able to prepare my sermon outline until the weekend before the week of prayer. And it had undergone so many revisions from 24 pages, I had to cut it down to 12, and I had to cut it down to 6 in order to fit the time. So my preparation involved physically, of course, I had to take care of myself. Um, mentally, I had to keep reading. Um, Emotionally, I had to channel happy thoughts. And spiritually, of course, I had to commune with God. So those are just some of my simple preparations for the week of prayer. So thank you, Ms. Zai, that uh, despite of the challenges, you were able to uh, manage and have this uh, balance, your spiritual life, your uh, mental life, especially you are uh, from the College of Nursing, you, you are now having this duty. But despite of that, you were able to manage and now you delivered a powerful message. So for the qu second question is, what would you say uh, is the most challenging part of being one of of the week of prayer speakers probably the pressure of course people will expect a good sermon but it is only by God's grace that we can actually deliver a good sermon so one of the challenges as well and one of the pressures is making the outline because what they give us is just the main idea so we have to do it like research we have to look at all the sources and cover all the topics in order to actually find the main point that will matter to the audience. Yes, uh, it's really hard for us because uh, as a college of nursing student, uh, it's just an outline. It's really hard for, for her to uh, uh, create an outline about the topic, but she still managed because by God's grace, it's all because of God. And for the last one is, how this uh, message changed your perspective about love? Because your topic is relationship. Is love worth it? It changed my perspective in a way that I used to look at social media and all these famous couples as the basis of relationship goals. But when I researched, when I read, and as I made my outline, I have realized that the only thing and the only standard that we should base love upon on is the Word of God, and it is the Bible. Yes, thank you, Ms. Zai, that indeed uh, we must base our love in God. We must always look onto the cross, not on the world. So thank you, Ms. Zai. Thank you, thank you Paul. So for our next uh, set of questions, we'll be interviewing one of our students. Thank you, Paul, Ms. Zai. Okay, hello. So the first question is, what is your reaction after today's topic? For me, I'm so blessed in the uh, messages that he, she delivered this morning, and especially she, uh, she hit the point of um, she shown the the reality of the love that the world um, wants to exp wants to say, but the biblical perspective of what love is is really the hit the point that he point everyone he drawn to Christ. He drawn us to Christ. That that exactly that he showed. Uh, he also ex profound explain the very meaning of what love is. That is, there is no other than that. God is God, God Himself. So I'm really blessed, and then uh, he really uh, really uplift Christ in those messages that he share. She shared today. So we love because love first love yes, us. Exactly. Yeah. So the second question is, how can you apply today's topic to your spiritual life? Yes, uh, pardon? Uh, how can you apply today's topic to your spiritual life? Uh. Yeah. 
uh, before, uh, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm a uh, converted Seventh-day Adventist. But when I hear a lot of sermon, and here to today, her sermon, I really, you know, really now know, uh, know what is the deepest meaning of love. And that's why I encourage and inspire to show this kind of love to other people. And that's why I'm so inspired and so I'm being loved as well to God by God. And, and I, I know I know I have I have uh, this realization that this love is meant to be shared to others. Yeah. So actually, we don't know how to love, yes. but because God loves us, yes. so we can. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So the last one. <laughs> how will this topic help you in your chosen career? <laughs> in my choosing career, since I'm a uh, Bachelor of Art in Theology, so we, we used to study about love, about God. And you know, sometimes love is what she said a while ago, the speakers, is a complex. It's complex. But you know, when you feel the love of God, even you, we do, not, you, we, you do not know everything but you feel it and you grasp all it and then we certainly respond to that love and you can you can show it to others um, in a in a simple way that God loves you in every uh, in every you know everything that God shows you is love it is a manifestation that you are being molded by his love and also uh, to in my choosing career, I want to share God's loves more to other people. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for answer. Okay.